Hey everybody, welcome to the Vapor Rhino Car Wash video number one. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do a very quick sample of cleaning a truck door. A lot of you guys have been writing us and asking us questions and calling us on the phone and saying, do you have any actual footage of the machine in use? And we certainly will after this is done here. Um, and we're also planning on having a whole bunch more. So we're excited, we're looking forward to this, and we really love this machine. It really is a powerhouse running at 10 bars, 145 PSI. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually clean this old truck door. It's a work truck and the door is caked with road salt and, and dirt and grime and greases that have been picked up over the winter time and been allowed to bake on and dry in. And in a few seconds, you're going to see a nice close-up coming in right now of how thick and crusted on this mud and gook is. So this is the perfect test case for the Vapor Rhino 145 PSI Vapor Steam Cleaning System to see whether or not it's going to be an effective dry car wash system. And it absolutely is. You're going to love what you see here. Um, now this, by the way, is not typical. You're going to see that this is so thick that it's going to take a little extra time to clean, but we're going to do this just to prove the point in dry vapor steam mode only. You can see that chemical injection jug on the back there. We're not going to use it. We're not going to turn it on. No soap, no hot water injection. We're going to use the remarkable power of the Vapor Rhino to blast off this dirt. And you can see it right there. There's the technician working, blasting it off, and you can see it starting to run away. But here, one of the things I wanted to point out, there are certain ways to do things and there are certain ways not to do things. You guys are in the auto detail business know very well that taking a muddy rag and grinding it into a fine finished paint job is not the way to go. This is absolutely terrible. I mean, look at that mud streak coming out from behind the rag. You really, you just don't want to do this. So what do you do? The first thing you need to do is blast off that mud before you can start really polishing and cleaning a car. That makes sense. But the question is, how do you do that? Traditionally, you'd use a car, uh, uh, a hose, a garden hose, or a pressure washer. Both of those leave puddles and rivers of water behind. The vapor steam cleaner in dry vapor steam mode is all you really need to do this. And this is really what's fantastic about it. So you're watching right now, dry vapor steam mode, no chemical injection. By the way, that blue jug there, there are chemicals in there, soaps in there. That's a chemical injection system that can be filled with water as well. But look at that. Look at that amazing power. That's dry vapor steam alone, running at about one gallon of water an hour. And yet still, still I'm able to blast off all that mud and dirt. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. And you can turn around and you'll be able to detail all the, the different um, um, parts of the car as well, like the emblems and so on and so forth. So this is very exciting. The, the 145 PSI Vapor Rhino is absolutely capable of doing dry car wash. It's capable of doing it quite rapidly. Again, pointing out that this is a particularly dirty door, with literally with mud and sand dried on salts and everything else that you can think of from the road packed on there for months and months being allowed to dry and bake in there and we're making easy work of it here now guys the really cool thing about this is that we're using again I keep saying it but I got it I can't emphasize it enough dry vapor steam only that jug that's on that uh, machine there that has the blue stuff in it, if you just simply swap out the included extra jug and put water in it instead, flip a button right on the steam gun, you'd have hot water injection. You'd be able to blast off all that dirt in a matter of seconds rather than taking the amount of time that we're taking here. By the way, which is not that long for dry vapor steam mode. But you'd be able to do it so much faster and still with relatively little runoff. There'd only be a few drips on the ground. That not even There wouldn't even be a puddle to speak of. So. You can do this much more rapidly, but we're just showing that you can also do it in dry steam mode. You can do this inside a garage. You can do this in a showroom of a, of a, a dealership, anywhere you want. The dry vapor steam is fully capable in the Vapor Rhino of doing the entire car. But never forget, you fully have the option to engage the hot water injection or soapy chemical injection anytime you want. So what we did here now is we're at the point where we blasted off all the dirt, the thick, heavy dirt, with the steam only knocked it off of the first layer and now we're going to come back and we're going to still use dry vapor steam only to detail the car. One of the things you want to know um, for those of you who've never done this, the key to a dry car wash is microfiber towels and you really you need a lot of them. So you want to buy yourself several bags of microfiber towels and you have them ready to go. You never want to use dirty towels over and over again. Again for those of you who are looking, we're looking at the Vapor Rhino 145 PSI dry vapor steam cleaner with chemical and hot water injection system. Of course, it's got the built-in cart, as you can see, extra long steam hose, and probably one of the most fantastic accessory kits anywhere for any kind of steam cleaner on the market. Uh, at the time of the making of this video, as far as we can tell, nowhere 
Is there any machine more powerful than a Vapor Rhino 145 PSI and 120 volts as far as a vapor steam cleaner goes? This is an all-electric machine. Some of you guys have seen some of those big machines out there running $6,000 and they're being promoted for the car wash industry. And they're big beasts of machines too. You really can't throw them in your trunk. The real downside to those big um, those big car wash systems that um, they are on wheels, the big so-called portable car wash system, is they run on diesel fuel. I mean, that's, that's an expense. I'm not sure what the math is. We did it a while back, and I can't remember the numbers. But there's a certain amount of dollars per hour that you're going to be burning through diesel fuel, number one. Number two, most of those systems don't even come with accessories. So forget about doing other work, whether it be tie on grout work or using brushes to scrub upholstery. It doesn't exist. And number three, probably the most important part is that diesel fuel, those fumes, they'll kill you. You can't take them inside of a dealership. You can't run it inside a house um, you're limited you're not it you're not nearly as mobile as working with say a vapor rhino system whether it be the big vapor rhino or little vapor rhino and now the kicker is this we have these things available in 220 volts now most of you are saying 220 volts I can't work with that well you can there is a special box that we have that allows you to plug it into two different outlets um, or you can just get a generator but either way the 220 volt system has twice the horsepower if you will it has Double the wattage, double the power, heating up the same amount of water, which gives you a much meaner, stronger, more consistent head of steam. So if you're going to do the dry car wash business outside in the long term, my personal recommendation, 220 volts. But if you like the 120 volts for its portability and simplicity, plug it into just about any generator, this baby will definitely do the job and it'll do it really, really well. What I'd like you to do is take notice of the ground. Look at it. Look at how dry it is. There's a little moisture that's hit the ground from all that work. But basically, there's nothing there. Um, this is fantastic. Again, a very, very dry system. Now, what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to be switching over to another car. Uh, some footage we shot, I think, back in 2009. And um, we're going to show you how fast a car wash goes. We picked this door because it was so trashed and, and it, was, it was so dirty that we thought it would just make an excellent example um, for before and after and, and show you how how tough the Vapor Rhino is, what kind of work that it can actually do. From thick, muddy, coated, nasty truck, a beat up old work truck, to nice and shiny and clean. So the next car is very similar. It's also shot in winter time. I think it was 28 degrees out the day we did this. We used a much smaller system, one of our smaller systems, with much lower PSI. Um, but still, the, tr the car was loaded with salts and road dirts, and it did a phenomenal job. The entire door panel in about a minute and a half um, you can look at the video and you can time it yourself, but it's it's a very rapid process. The typical car that pulls up uh, into your um, mobile car wash is not going to be as dirty as this blue truck was. It's going to be a whole lot different situation. In fact, the typical car that pulls up to get their car done is not even going to be as dirty as this car we're showing you right here. As you can see, the before and after right there. Um, in a few seconds, I'm going to jump right in. Right, from this point on, we're going to let the original audio speak for itself. Um, we're going to be using hot water injection to clean this car, along with dry vapor steam follow-up. Um, thanks for listening, guys. We look forward to your orders, and we look forward to your feedback, and um, best wishes and best luck in your business. A lot of guys ask me, how fast can you clean a car using a waterless car wash system? Well, this car is pretty filthy. It's winter time here. There's a lot of salt on the roads, dirt and grime. This car is really loaded. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do it as fast as we can. I'm going to do this one door panel. I'm going to film the whole thing from beginning to end. We're going to get an idea how fast it goes. You can do this very, very rapidly if you know what you're doing. All right, guys, let me just jump in for a second. There's something I forgot to mention. Just in case this video is the only video you see on Vapor Rhino, I wanted to point out that the Vapor Rhino 145 PSI Vapor Steam Cleaning System is not just for dry car washing. It's fantastic for, throughout the whole range of cleaning the cars, interiors, whether it be the floors, the carpets, the upholstery, the dashboards, the headliners, the, the, the door panels. It does a unbelievably fantastic job in the cars. Many auto details are using nothing but vapor steam cleaners and a vacuum to clean the inside of the car. They've thrown away their extractors or don't use them. But also, these machines are phenomenal in the floor grout cleaning business or just cleaning the grout in your home. They're great on upholstery. They're fantastic for janitorial applications, whether it be cleaning in cafeterias, mopping floors, and they do make great mops. Um, a whole range of janitorial work. You know, the urinals, the, the toilets, the sinks, the mirrors. Um, they're 
also fantastic in, in, um, in greasy commercial kitchen environments, cleaning baked on deep fryers, carbonized resin on stainless steel appliances, used to stainless steel detail brushes or what have you, to clean them off. So the Vapor Rhino is absolutely a multifunctional tool. We're just shooting this video to point out how fantastic it is in this particular industry, but it's just as fantastic in many, many other industries. So don't forget, it's not just a dry car wash, but it's a phenomenal auto detail tool for the inside of the car, for the engine, and so on and so forth. Not to mention all the other industries we just talked about. All right, I think you're going to like the rest of this video clip. Um, doing this door, you're going to see how fast it actually goes. Let me stop talking right now. Again, thanks for listening. Look forward to your feedback, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. God bless. Have a good day. Um, for a fastest car wash, I would recommend starting with the hot water injection. Give it a good rinse. Hot water injection is ready to go, fired up. Make sure you have your rags ready to go, which we do. And we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to do this one door panel. I'm gonna switch back to C mode and I'm gonna start my light down. Believe it or not, just from that uh, steam blasting with the hot water injection, this is mostly cleaned off. Get some mud done here. Now this door is done. Some road car down here. With a little extra effort, the road tar can be removed as well with the steamer. Okay. As you can see from that shot, the whole door took maybe a minute, minute and a half, maybe two. Uh, we weren't really timing it here. We'll find out when we edit the video. But a minute or two to do an entire door panel. Um, it really is not going to take that long to do a whole car. So is a waterless car wash a practical application of steamer? Absolutely. You make a lot of money. You can do it anywhere. You don't need a large water supply. A gallon of water lasts about an hour of cleaning. See the pretty remarkable before 